What's a poppin' Pisces? I'm Morel and welcome to Love Pisces in this Marasaka, baby. Join me as I read you, you all's lives. I am here in beautiful, beautiful Spokane, Washington. Um, now, if y'all see little crackheads and little fentanyl inspired uh, users, bitch, I don't know, because I've been having to go off on my motherfucking videos and stop them hoes. Just, so just forgive you, girl, okay? <laughs> Make sure you guys check out my GoFundMe, um, especially if you want to donate to keep this channel afloat. You know, people have been taking piece by piece, little by little, of things that's been on my page, been stealing every motherfucking thing, every saying, every lighting, every uh, uh, act, uh, all of that shit that I originated and came up with. So make sure you keep this channel afloat. Check out my GoFundMe. Also, you can join my Patreon membership because I am transitioning over there. I will probably post some time tonight. But I ain't going to make no motherfucking promises, okay? And please forgive all the distractions in the background. Your girl uh, is just trying to live, okay? <laughs> so uh, thank you to those who have donated to my channel. Make sure that you guys come June 25th at 5 p.m. Central Time Zone for my birthday bash. Come with your girl, okay? Yes, I am a Cassidian, and I also have other things in my charts, but just know that there's a reason why Spirit gave me a reason to do these channels for Pisces, okay? Just know I know thyself. Okay, so... Now that we didn't got that on out the motherfucking way, I have messages before I jump into um, into the actual reading. Um, and I don't want this to come off as no motherfucking rant video, but I am going to keep it real, okay? And I will be talking about your partner, your person, your shoulda, woulda, couldas, have nots, maybes, possibilies, whatever the case may be. Click the fuck on off right here, right now. Hey, ass hoes, cross watching your monkey ass too with your bitch ass. Now, if you need to get a personal reading, check that description box. Please do not waste my time. Please do not waste my time. And I don't want to hear nobody say, oh, in the beginning of your video, because you said this, you're not going to get this and this. Bitch, shut up. Okay? I know what the fuck I'm doing. And I will tell you exactly what the fuck's going on and how I'm going to live my life. I'm going to live it just just like how I want to, okay? Okay. Now, now that we didn't got that on out the way, um, listen. I was watching this video earlier about how tarot readers are this and this and that, and they're all in it for the money. If that was the case, bitch would be having a mansion doing tarot card readings in different types of rooms and different backgrounds and shit like that, okay? I'm so sick and tired of watching people's contradictions and they don't be practicing what they what the fuck they preach. So, I was watching this video about uh, this guy who does, um, he does magic and this and this and that. And he gonna say, don't listen to tarot readers, it's all out, they're all out for money. But his girlfriend is a tarot reader. Okay, so let's let's get that on out the way. These motherfuckers be weird on YouTube. And they don't even be remembering what the fuck they be saying. And remember, I be telling y'all about memory magic. Okay, alright. That's all I'm going to say about that. Now, some of you guys are powered by source. Powered by um, the ancestors. Powered by... Um, what's fueling you to continue to fucking keep going despite all of the factors that might be happening or taking place in your life the people that you have met and I was thinking about this um, the other day all the people that you've helped even though it could have been out of the kindness of your heart did it long in the long term last you to help those motherfuckers or should you have been helping yourself and not to come off as selfish, not to come off as mean, but all of those things that you did for those people, did it come back full circle to you? 
all the conversations, the money, the gas, a helping hand, helping somebody push their car or uh, or a grocery, whatever. I want y'all to think about that right now. Long term wise. And in the end, did it help you create a sound mind for yourself and to be uh, in tune with your future self? Did it help you? Y'all tell me in the comments down below, okay? So we're going to jump right on into this. Bottom of the deck is obsidian stones are protective stones. Black obsidian is known to be the strongest. The stone allows you to be protected from incoming negative energy in daily life. Holding it briefly above the third eye each morning during meditation creates a protective shield around you. So even if you don't have this stone, your motherfucking ass need to be like, bitch, I don't want you. I don't need you. Get up out of my life and bring in the good shit. Period. I know it's easier said than done. But for me, I've had to really like take a look back. All the people that I've helped, that I've um, supported and aided and all that shit, did it protect me in the long run? All right, so here we go. Give it to me for my Pisces. We're just going to get one of these cards and I'm going to save your cards for all of my Pisces guys. I want y'all to think about that shit. I'm sick of people and their contradictions and they fuck shit. And the lies that's always told. Bitch, just live your motherfucking life, honey. Don't worry about nobody else. Get selfish. Alright, so, uh, Burl. B-E-R-Y-L. There are many things that can get in the way of spiritual advancement. Uh-oh. This stone has the ability to filter out these distractions and fill you with courage and the initiative to believe in yourself. Mm. It can attract love and maintain it as well as opening your mind to understanding true love. Okay, so what's love to you? Is it a relationship? Is it showing conditions or boundaries? Um, affection? What is it? What is it? How is it important to you in your everyday waking life? All right, Kyanites, a very special stone that retains no negative energy and never requires a cleansing. Kyanite is known to open the throat chakra and encourage self expression and communication in our world and the psychic plane. Also, it enhances hidden telepathic and psychic abilities. Let me roll my muffin window up because Brad and Chad is over here. Get ready to have a butt buster a gay a thon or something. I don't know what the fuck be going on. Uh, but y'all know I don't judge, bitch. Mm. Okay, do what you want to do, baby. Just don't let it affect me. Straight like that. Okay, Labradite is at the bottom of the deck. Helps expand the mind and further spiritual growth. And it does this by calming the negative side of your personality and helps us think twice when it comes to impulsive behavior. This incredible stone is linked to the third eye chakra. So let me tell y'all a little secret. Your girl was a little crazy when I was young. And I learned my lessons though. I learned some really hard and tough lessons as I went through life cycles. I was that bitch that would like slap the shit out of you or say, uh, I would say things. I would say things and people did not like it. They'd be like, you have a, you have an attitude, a nasty attitude. I'm like, bitch, I'm protecting myself. Ho. My impulse and my impulsivity was on 1000. Now, I don't know ADHD shit, but bitch, don't fuck with me. If you show me that you showing me love, I show you love back. If you show me you showing hate and I instantly get that vibe. Like when I went to the drive through at McDonald's, let me give y'all a little example. Went to the drive through McDonald's. I said, bitch, I want a, a small coffee, extra cream, extra sugar. When I handed her my credit card, 
that bitch snatched it. And I got a little bad taste in my mouth and I didn't even eat the coffee. I didn't even drink the coffee yet. So just remember when you're doing exchanges with motherfuckers, the intent and who these people are and who is backing them. Don't ever fucking forget it. So when she handed me my card back, I sashed that bitch back. Like, bitch, you gave me that same energy. I'm going to give you the same energy. Okay? But your spiritual warfare out here. You got to protect your own spirit fucking with these motherfuckers. And she looked at me like, oh. Yeah, I gave you the same energy, same exchange you gave me, I'm giving to you. And that's what the fuck you gonna take, period. Now, when I tried to do the reading earlier, um, I kept getting love and evil. So I don't know if some of you guys are dealing with partnerships or people um, that could potentially show you love or show you how evil that they really are or you could be dealing with motherfuckers that's um that's wanting to give you love period and be able to show it in different ways and then you got people who's evil out here who gaslight narcissistic dangerous dusty who get angry at the fact that you uh, are a loving person or that you are just who the fuck you are. And I know most of the Pisces that I know, they've been dealing with that shit. People who've been very greedy, who just want to be around for money purposes, want to be around to mooch. And mark my words, y'all know exactly who I be talking about. And that could turn into a monster, okay? Motherfuckers be having monsters under the bed. And still be cruel and be mean. And they turn into the monster that was under their bed as a child at night. So don't don't uh, forget that some people are, trying, are not trying to break their generational curses. Or is not trying to um, be a better person. Or they see that people are seeing them and they're supposed to be a leader. Right? So, keep that in keep that in consideration. Um, now, I do want to do a money reading coming up very soon. Because I feel like Pisces needs to know about that money, baby. Um, let me roll this reefer as I'm talking to. Don't get all ADHD on nigga. Just... If y'all can watch uh, Hood Rat Drama V. <laughs> and y'all watch a girl. Then you can, uh, you, can, you can listen to your girl for about 20 something minutes. Okay. Because I'm going to give you a whole bunch of things to actually maintain and keep. And not no fake ass shit like these bitches out here. And people get angry when you're unbothered either you're gonna get the same energy that you gave to me or and or they're gonna get upset because you're unbothered you can have the patience of motherfucking job let me break this stick down y'all hold on real quick hold on for your girl Give me just a second. We got to we gotta get this shit together. So I was getting, like I said in the reading um, that I was going to post. I didn't want to post it only because it was a whole bunch of crackheads like all up in my business. And like this one lady, I took my kids in the store. And this one lady, she thought that she was practicing real well to act normal. When I know she just hit her motherfucking crack pipe and she gonna come in between me and my kids and was like, oh, I was so tired. I was like, oh, okay, she just hit that pipe. Okay, she was trying to act as normal as possible. 
She was like, I'm so tired. She was moving super fast, had a little glasses on, had a shades on and shit, trying to be incognito. And I'm like, lady, listen. Lady, listen. Whoever your dealer is, you probably love that motherfucker. They probably love you, baby. Now, I feel like uh, coming to Washington, it's, it's some motherfucking um, the government dropped off them drugs hard here and was like, well, guys, I think that uh, we have to go now. <laughs> Let's see what happens. So, I said all I had to say this. People be having addictions like a motherfucker. And you have the right to step outside of that comfort zone. Now, this car says Strombonite, Stromborite, Symborite. To lift your spirits out of the fog of everyday life. So, if some of y'all been feeling like you can't get nowhere or things are. Um, at a standstill, whether it be with partnerships or in love, you're going to find your peace and you're going to find the things that you love to do. So let me roll this shit up. Hopefully y'all smoking with your girl. Let me roll this shit on up. And then we're going to read these cards and figure out what's going on with little Krusty and what's going on in the world. In the stars and in the cards. So, like I said, I feel like some of you guys are going to be reaching peace or seeking nirvana. Some of you guys might be uh, meditating, closing your eyes, talking to the spirit guides. Okay, some of you guys are taking to your talking to your angels. Okay, angels in the outfield. Y'all see my baseball bat? <laughs> um, let me get this uh, lighter real quick. Let me get my campfire lighter. But you guys are definitely spiritually connected. And no one can take that from you. I don't care what struggles you're going through at this time. Whether it be family, money, life, career, whatever. Let's see what's up for Pisces Spirit. Go on and pull on up for your girl. Got Chad and Brad staring at me. Like, bitch, this ain't no fentanyl. Dude. Ooh. These people, Lord. You must sage the cards for all of my Piscean gods, baby. Okay. In the smoke, I seen arrows straight and to the motherfucking point. Um, something is going to be on point like Stacy motherfucking Adams. You might have something that you're looking at in different directions. Or um, this could be your person that might be at a crossroads. You look to me for my Pisces spirit. Don't let these people fool you out here. Don't let them trick you into believing that everything is all good in their life and it's not. I'm tired of people faking the funk. If you can't fake it that well, then you ain't gonna make it. Alright, here we go. Oh, it's about to get real messy up in this bitch. Alright, very first card out is the Page of Swords. Okay, so somebody's on the lookout. 
Your person could be watching you from a distance or watching you from afar. And some of you guys might be thinking about protection or getting some sort of uh, heat or protection here. I mean, a bitch got motherfucking uh, cannon uh, balls and shit and bazookas and shit. Because that page of swords does remind me of somebody who's always needing to um, be quick to protect themselves or their uh, impulsive decisions are to be violent. So just be careful of, you know, people and their um, bad habits and spirits and demons that try to attach to you. Okay, this also could be drama, gossip, um, bad habits, talking, talking too much all right possible gemini libra aquarius you might be dealing with you also the eight of cups so some of you guys this person feels stuck in the past with this six of cups and also eight of cups so it's a lot of emotions here i'm also getting cancer pisces or a scorpio all right give it to me for my pisces this take me back to when I was in high school. This dude was talking shit about me. And I flipped that motherfucking chair over. Little did he know. I could bench press almost 600 motherfucking pounds. Little did he know. That I was going to tear that ass the fuck up. Man or woman. And I was going to check that motherfucker. Okay. Now listen. I, I don't be going astray. I be telling what we need to be told. All right, so five of wand energy here is the energy that I'm getting. I'm also picking up some of you guys have like zero tolerance for the bullshit. This is like uh, not allowing anybody to just do whatever and uh, float how they want to around you. Give it to me for my Pisces spirit. What do they need to know about this person? All right, seven of pentacles in reverse. So they might be losing out on some sort of investments or um, they don't know how to officially like take care of the seeds that they've planted. Okay, you could be dealing with a baby daddy, baby mama type of drama or something like that. Or somebody's extremely dramatic here, but I'm also getting that they're not practical. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay, they might be missing a lot of uh, practicalities that they need to like do or get all their ducks in a row. Who is this about, Spirit? Who is this about? All right, the Hermit. Could be dealing with a possible Virgo. Also, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This could be a young child, possibly. But you do have a uh, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, who's in a rush or is coming your way or coming your direction. What's this Knight of Wands here for, Spirit? Okay, the lover. So this could be a brother, a sister, an actual lover. Okay, possible Gemini here. But I'm getting something about the angels in the outfield is bringing on a union ship or a connection. It doesn't have to necessarily be romantic love. So... Who is this? Somebody's coming rushing in to give you some sort of gift or an offering. Ten of Swords here and also Temperance Energy. Okay. And the Magician. Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. What's this about, Spirit? So this could be about finances or making some sort of business work or family business. Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. These people, boy. Bitch, I got to smoke. Okay, because I want all the smoke. Give it to me for my Pisces spirit. Five of Pentacles here. So they feel lonely and left out. 
This also could be from a group activity or something like that, or they feel like they have a mess. But three of cups at the bottom of the deck. So this could be friends or some sort of friendship. Okay, or a third party situation. Okay, mix or mingling of uh, narcissistic motherfuckers. Because that's what I see on the picture. Every time I see these bitches with that bird. That's what I see. Like they gonna smash this motherfucker to death. And it's a brand new baby bird. It's supposed to be innocent. So, five of pentacles and also five of cups. They have a, they got a major loss getting ready to come up or a mess in their hands. This could be a financial loss or somebody feels like they're, they fucked up. Okay, they fucking up. <laughs> Give it to me for my Pisces spirit. Sun energy also the death and the nine of cups so they're definitely upset also could be some sort of decision that they have to make over two different energies or good and bad white or black yin and yang okay also could be fighting over something here as well too with this queen of swords coming through they're gonna stop those bad habits if they can't come out with the truth also with the tower energy i feel like somebody is a pathological liar but there's also some sort of chaos that's about to ensue in their world. Give it to me for my Pisces spirit. What do they need to know about? All right, the moon. Ooh. Also the hangman. So I feel like they've watched a whole bunch of sacrifices and now this person might have to go through uh, some sort of pushback. Definitely a third party here. I was when I was on the road, y'all. And speaking of the three of wands, I was thinking to myself, why do they call? I asked my kids this too, and I was like, why the fuck do they make the wands, which is wood from a tree, fire? My son was like, because it might be easy to start a fire with it. I'm like, but you can start a fire with water too. Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So somebody is trying to make it work. Or somebody could be a major manipulator here. Pisces, I don't know if that's you, but. What's happening next, Spirit? Four of Swords page of wands and six of wands here so there is somebody that's very jealous with the six of wands they don't want this success to happen and you said it be consistently thinking of ways to make the success work but i'm also getting somebody who's jealous about a unionship or they're jealous of you guys or there could be a possible couple that is jealous, okay, of an ending here. What's happening next, spirit? There's that page of swords, judgment. What's the judgment? Definitely a revelation, okay, or something they're called to end. Also with the seven of swords, um, somebody's gonna hear about a phone call or this could be an ex or something like that. King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. Seven of sword energy here. Look at this. Somebody's taking their time, but you already know the truth. It's like whatever they try to lie about, you know the truth about it. Bible Pentacles, so they in a mess or somebody feels lonely and lost. Could be a possible Eddie's here. All right, Pisces, I'm about to get my ass the fuck on out of here. You know I love you, baby. Check out my Patreon as well. 
Hit my line up 281-932-3218 if you want to get a personal reading. And you guys already know, I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.